The following presentation details the history, production methods, and future applications of auxetic materials. First, let's look at what Poisson's ratio is. It is the ratio of the transverse or lateral strain over the axial or longitudinal strain. For most materials, this is a positive value. Here, we are looking at the behavior of a typical material. When stretched and expanded in the longitudinal direction, the material is compressed in the lateral direction. This results in a positive value of Poisson's ratio. Now, what does it mean to have a negative Poisson's ratio? A material with this characteristic becomes thicker in one or more width directions when stretched lengthwise and becomes thinner when compressed. This means that they expand in the unstressed direction when placed under uniaxial stretching. When a material possesses a negative Poisson's ratio, it is commonly referred to as an auxetic material. There are many shapes relevant to negative Poisson ratio materials. A few of the most frequently constructed include the bow tie, the hexagon, the arrow, and other quadratic shapes. The behavior of an auxetic is shown here with the material clearly shrinking in both the x and y directions when subjected to axial compression. Where do NPR materials exist? They occur rarely in nature and are more often man-made. They are naturally occurring in crystalline silicate, specifically a cristobalite, in zeolite, as well as in some skin and other soft tissues. Synthetically made auxetics are more common. They were used designing a graphite core within nuclear reactors in the 1950s. Honeycomb and truss-like auxetic structures can be man-made. Many foams are also constructed, including metallic, ceramic, and polymeric. The behavior of auxetic foam is observed here on a macro and a micro scale, showing its bow tie structure. When considering the importance of auxetic materials, the effect of a negative Poisson's ratio on material properties must be looked at. They are very resistant to shear deformation. This is because of the relationship between shear modulus and Poisson ratio. As the ratio V becomes negative and approaches negative 1, the shear modulus G approaches infinity. It is also extremely difficult to cause indentation to NPR materials as this is a result of shear deformation. Enhanced fracture toughness and energy absorption are a few more benefits. We constructed our auxetic material on a microscopic scale with a width of about 500 microns. The pattern can be seen, but not well identified without the use of a microscope. The production process begins by spin coating SU8 onto a silicone wafer. Direct laser writing is used to cross-link the desired areas. A PMEA bath is then used to remove the remaining unlinked SU8 from the substrate. PDMS is then applied to the substrate creating a negative mold of the pattern that was written in the previous step. Resin is cast within the PDMS mold and is removed from the mold to create the final structure. Examining the material under a microscope, the signature bow tie pattern is easily recognized. There are many applications in which auxetic materials are helpful. It is an important concept in shock absorbing materials, including knee and elbow pads, and athletic shoes. Auxetic materials are also very important to biomedical applications, including being used in prostheses and surgical implants. There are many patents currently being issued within the biomedical field of research.